This was interesting, very interesting, especially when mainly and mostly the asleep online, the anti-woke crowd only used the first, the second, fifth, 14th and 19th amendments and their arguments and their debates, always neglecting the rest of the amendments, 22 of them, just saying. But this right here was very awakening and very awesome to give light to the rest of the 22 amendments. And ready, set, and go. The First Amendment, freedom of expression, which means freedom of speech is only for you and the government, not you and another person with a different opinion, view, mindset, and way of life. As is said and written, this amendment does not nowhere protects or guards you from the consequences and reactions of you abusing it. Same as my freedom of speech and expression is not the way this amendment was written. So you need to abide by it and obey it. Second Amendment, right to bear arms. That's all, folks. Ain't really much to say about this. Just do it the right way. Do it responsibly. Get some gun classes and some gun responsibility courses. And there you go. Third Amendment, quartering of soldiers. Pretty much, you know, uh, pretty much taking this, you know, go inside your home with or without their consent. Now, with this open border invasion due to greedy CEOs and politicians, we better use this against them for forcing any sound seekers into our homes. Fourth Amendment, search and seizure. Well, Brown and Taylor, Fidel Castro comes to mind because what happened with them? They this this country really dropped the ball on the Fourth Amendment, treating them as if they're just savages. Fifth Amendment, due process of law. Once again, being black, this never happens to us. Let's be real here. It doesn't happen. The Sixth Amendment, right to a fair trial. Another being black, this never happens. Case in point, George Floyd. Case in point, Jordan Neely. And many, many others. The Seventh Amendment, trial by jury in civil cases. Third time's a charm, because blacks don't benefit from this either. Nope, nope, nope. The Eighth Amendment, cruel and unusual punishments. This one needs to be rewritten because if you're a convicted pedophile or rapist, you automatically need to get the capital punishment, period. The Ninth Amendment, non-numerated rights. This explains why the forefathers listed black people as three-fifths of a human and still to this day. Tenth Amendment, states' rights. Breaking down their own amendment, go figure, because these states, they really are wrong for this one. They just said, we're going to make this amendment, but then we're just going to say, eh, you know, that's always. The Eleventh Amendment, lawsuits against the states. Why Democrats are getting away with these open border policies. Why that vaccine, you know which one it is, how if anything happened to your body for getting it, you can't sue anyone. The corporations, the one that forced you to take it, you can't do anything as a lawsuit. You can't not do. You can't. You got to deal with the consequences, even though they had the gun pointed at your head and, and ready to get your career out of the way. The 12th Amendment, electing the president and vice president. Okie dokie. The 13th Amendment, end of slavery. This still goes on to this day. Case in point, prisons and them good old boys with the this is woke, anti-woke folks in this country. The 14th Amendment, equal protection of the laws. All of you are Hispanic, Asian, Ukrainian, Arab, or Indian. If you're anything, if you're anything but those, you're in for a world of hurt. The 15th Amendment. Right to vote, not denied by race. Now they're looking. Now they're looking for an open border to capitalize on this. The Sixteenth Amendment, income taxes, which they don't, not in the way it's supposed to be written and made as it's supposed to be. The Seventeenth Amendment, direct election of senators. Okie dokie. The Eighteenth Amendment. Prohibitation of alcohol, pretty much banning alcohol. Politicians, once again, not following or obeying their own rules and ways. Now, marijuana and cannabis are legal. Yay! What's the worst that can happen? The 19th Amendment, women's right to vote. 
Okie dokie. The 20th Amendment. The lame duck. For the third time, not one politician, senator, congress, or house honoring and obeying this. No wonder this country is in the toilet and on fire. Had these folks actually kept these amendments, we wouldn't have grumpy old men, grumpy old women in the silent and baby boomer generations who are in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Great grandparents are still, still in power and control. The 21st Amendment, repeal of prohibitation. They had it right, very right, with the 18th, and then they caved it in. The 22nd Amendment, presidential term limits. This also needs to be for House, Senate, Congress, representatives, speakers, leaders, and judges, Supreme Court judges as well. Very well. The 23rd Amendment, electoral votes for D.C., but it's still taxation by representation, which defeats this point in amendment. The 24th Amendment bans the poll tax. Imagine getting taxed just to vote. Let's not jinx it. The 25th Amendment, presidential secession and disability, to which neither Democrat or Republican president ever did. As soon as he became the press and he said, to hell with that former president and began with his own agendas and policies and dashed away the 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 previous presidential policies and agendas. The 26th Amendment, the right to vote at 18. Okie dokie. And the 27th, the 27th Amendment limits congressional pay raises. All I gotta say is hold my Nancy Pelosi. And that's all, folks. Very insightful and the problems within this country. And if these politicians doesn't follow, obey, and uphold their own rules and laws and amendments, why should we? But we're leaders, not followers like them. So let's do better and be better and look for the sun to rise again. Until next time.